y'all. Thanks for joining me. If you recall, I did a couple videos where I was testing the formula for my base coat to see if it would give me more cells if I changed that up or less cells. But I had extra paint from when I mixed those up. Um, I had two whites and two blacks. And so what I did is I mixed those together and I decided to use those as a base coat in this painting that I'm doing today. Um, so it's the Master's Touch Titanium White and Master's Touch Permanent Black. And then it's mixed with Floetrol and water. You can check that video and it'll tell you how much of each I put in here. So the canvas I'm using today is an eight by 10 and it was pretty loose. It was loose like this one is. I don't know if you can see how, how much it moves or not, but that's what this one did. And so I sprayed the back of it with some water to help tighten it up a little bit. So I'm going to use this for the base coat. And then I'll be using Yellow Medium by Master's Touch. And then a Satin Cotton Ball by Deco Art. Metallic Rich Espresso by Deco Art. I don't think I've used this one at all. So I'm looking forward to using it. And Pearlescent Rose by Master's Touch. Such a beautiful bright color. So I'm going to flood my canvas and I'll be right back. Okay, the canvas is flooded and the bubbles are torched. Now, I'm not sure if you can tell in the video or not, but when I put the two colors together, it was pretty much equal black and white. And I did not fully stir it to completely incorporate it. So it has kind of a marbled look, which is what I was hoping would happen. Unfortunately, I had a few places that the canvas wasn't completely covered, so I had to put some more in, and it's more mixed since I kept dipping my finger in it to do the edges. But I think once I pour out some colors and blow them out, you're not going to notice that so much anyway. So let's get the colors on. Let's see, I think I want to I think I'm gonna go from here. Like that. All right. Since I only have four colors, I'm going to put them on a little bit thicker. Part of the reason I decided to go the direction I did is because those are the three blobs that were on there. And so I'm hoping it'll blow them off more so you don't notice it so much. And I really like what it's doing over here already. So I'd like to keep that if possible too. I think 
that's in white. I was actually going to have black in here instead of the cot the satin cotton ball. But then when I opened up my cup and saw how dark this background was, I thought, oh yeah, it's too it's too dark as it is. I was thinking it was a lighter gray, and so I thought maybe the black would look okay with it, but I decided white would look better. Pearlescent rose on top. All right, I'm going to torch the bubbles one more time. Now, I think, since I have this intersection here, I think I'm going to start here and blow up this way. And then once I see how that blows, I'll kind of come through here and go. There are a lot of cells coming up through here that is so pretty and up through there. I like the yellow in with that. I really like how the background is marbled. Even though there's not a whole lot of background that you see now, you can still see it and I think it's really pretty. I think it does a lot for this painting. I think it blew out really nice. So these two edges went over. These did, this one did a little. This one really didn't, but I'm okay with that. And I even like how there's a little black that comes up through there and in through here. Just adds a little bit. more interest to it. I like the pearlescent in the pink. It's just really pretty and I know that some of it is the metallic that's underneath it too, but it is really pretty. And the longer I'm looking at this, the more these cells are just really developing. It is really pretty. All right, I'm going to Look and see if I need to touch up my edges. And then I will bring you in for a close up. Okay, so one of the things you really want to check, especially when you have a dark color, is you want to check 
the very bottom part of your edges because see like right there on the corner how there's a little bit of white that's showing you want to make sure that that is covered well if you're painting with a white background it doesn't really matter as much because the gesso that's already on the canvas will hide little things like that but it's really really noticeable on a darker colored background and then you also want to make sure that when you are done you scrape those drips So, and then I double check the corners after I've scraped the drips because sometimes that's when the white shows up because sometimes it'll kind of take a little bit of that off of there. All right. So here is what it looks like. It's so, so pretty. And these cells, they just keep developing more and more. I love these colors together. I wasn't sure what to think about mixing these colors together. Had no idea if it was going to look good or if it was just going to look gross. But I'm really, really pleased with how it turned out. Alright, I'm going to shut the overheads off and then let you see it with the flash on. Here it is. It is so, so gorgeous. There is so much shimmer on this. Some more of those cells. Yeah, I love that. Now that yellow is just peeking through the espresso. But then the espresso is on top so much too that you have all that metallic from the espresso. And see how I was talking about the background, how it has designed to you. Just makes the whole painting look as if it's flowing. I'll turn it this way so you can see the whole thing better. Look at that. Oh, it is beautiful. This painting is for sale. If you're interested, reach out to me at Tammy Vaughn Art at gmail.com. If you got any value out of this, I would really appreciate it if you would click the like button. Let me know in the comments what you think of this. Look at those cells. Wow. All right. Well. 
that's all for now. I will catch you next time. Bye. God bless.